What's going on everyone, Matash here with Amtech and today's video is going to be a really quick one because I'm going to be showing you guys how to use adjustable portrait blur on your Pixel 2 because it's officially out now but you guys probably don't know about it because it's kind of hidden away so without further ado, let's talk about it. All right guys, so let's talk about adjustable portrait blur. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is of course, take a portrait picture. So once you've got a portrait picture taken that you want to adjust the blur on, you just open it up in the Google Photos app, which I have open right here. And then what you're gonna do is hit that little toggle button. You can see the couple of switches down there. Once you hit that one, hit that same looking icon again, and there you will now see an option at the very bottom called depth. Before they just used to say pop and every other phone that you have may will also still say pop, but now you have this depth slider and now you can just slide it over. If you slide it over all the way to the left, it'll just get rid of all the blur and just give you the normal picture, which you already have, so you shouldn't do this. But you can also slide it all the way to the right side and get like the super blur. And you know, sometimes this can look really good. Me personally, I tend to stay away from that super blurry look, go a little bit softer and you know, have something that you like. So once you've got it done, you can obviously hit that save copy button at the top. But there's another feature that I forgot to tell you guys about where that's also came and that is color pop. So if you guys are aware, there's a function of Google Photo where it will sometimes pick a person and then pop them out. So have leave them colored and leave the background all black and white as you can see here. Well here, now with if, when you take a portrait photo, you can decide when you want to do that. So here, when I hit that color pop button, you can see that everything in the background just goes all uh, gray, black and white, and I stay in focus, I stay in color. And you know, sometimes this can have a really nice effect, sometimes it's a little too much. But it's up to you. If you want to use it, you do have this option. So I think it's really nice. I think you shouldn't overdo it, but you know, having one or two pictures like this can really stand out. So it's a pretty nice little feature that they've added. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, one of the other thing you should know is that now with the depth feature, you can also readjust the blur. So if you want to have something else in focus, you can actually just tap on the picture and it will readjust it. So you can see now that I've tapped somewhere else on the photo, my I've become blurry and the background is now in focus and also it switched up the color pop and it takes it away too. So it's still in color pop but now everything is colored so it looks a little weird but it's fine. So yeah, you can now adjust portrait blur, you can also refocus and pick something else that to be the focus of the picture, so it's pretty cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys found this tip useful, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos like this where hopefully there's other features that come out that I can tell you guys about. But yeah, with that, that's pretty much all I have for you guys in this one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.